What is up YouTube, welcome to another episode and this is going to be the continuation of the potential FIFA 14 new 4 star skillers and this is going to be on the bronze category and this was definitely the toughest category I've had to do. It was very very tough to find any information on these players or, or information on players that could go up to 4 star skills because you know 99% of the players I don't really watch week in week out and it is really tough to decide will they or should they go up. Um, so I did take a lot of your guys advice be that on the YouTube comments and on my Twitter if you're not following me on Twitter is at Gorskino10 do go and follow me um, my link is in the description as well I did take your guys opinions on those platforms also I took the opinion of FIFA 13 ultimate uh, FIFA 13 career mode the upgrade or the update that they had around winter time and also some opinions I made by looking into things on their you know YouTube and other threads and things like that so do take this into consideration it's a very tough category to really mark uh, and some of these players may even be silver so that's another issue I think most of these will be bronze though and that's why I have this in uh, have them in this list so let's go through them the first of which is a former Chelsea youth player and that is a Minifan and uh, he's a Swedish player and a left mid uh, he now plays for Enege Cottbus he's joined there on a free after leaving Chelsea and he was on loan to a Dutch side last year it wasn't for Tessie but I can't remember the side he uh, he was at and uh, he was quite impressive got an upgrade card to 64 in ultimate team and I think that's I think that will be his stats in uh, FIFA 14 ultimate team he's going to be you know pretty quick 79 plus pace 74 dribble good shooting good passing he is going to be a really really tidy player next year um, I think in the second Bundesliga so definitely one to watch out for uh, if you've seen any of his videos especially on his low move you definitely see the skill I'm talking about um, he has a, a couple amazing solo runs with a lot of skill in there so I definitely think he is deserving of the upgrade I think they also made him in career mode a four-star skiller so uh, that gives you a slight indication uh, where EA basically break his ability Let's go on to the next player, and that is Luis Alessandra, and uh, a guy that's been around the blocks uh, to many time, uh, many teams. He's just joined Plymouth, uh, reuniting with his former boss from another team. And uh, the season, he, you know, he played about forty games, only scored three goals. So I was really questioning: was he a striker or centre forward? Which he supposedly role was, considering uh, to other websites that I looked at. But from everything I've read of people that knew the player and their inside information and other websites like that, um, they say he is going to be a right mid or a right winger so that's where I believe Alessandro will be he's not going to be a center forward striker he's going to be a right mid and he's going to be playing for Plymouth and he's going to be a decent player four star skills decent pace of 76 and decent dribbling of 68 for a bronze he's going to be a sought after player especially for the lower leagues Next player we're going to go to is Billy Bowden, the Torquay uh, United player, a team not too far from Plymouth, and um, a player that you might be aware of if you watch Soccer AM. I think he's featured once or maybe a couple of times on their showboat category or section, which is basically on people who showboat off you know, really nice, classy skills. And um, I think he is definitely deserving of the upgrade, considering everything I've seen of him. Um, but... EA did make him uh, four-star skills in their career mode, so hopefully he will probably go up in ultimate team. Uh, he's going to have good pace, 78, good dribbling of 66, and that's what you're really looking for, especially from the wide wingers. Uh, he's going to be a left mid, a 59 rated, not the best, but with those four-star skills, he's definitely going to be a viable option from the lower leagues. Next player is someone actually from the top league in the Premier League, and that is Sergei Narbury or Nabi, and uh, he is a German Ivorian, um, but he plays for the German sides, and um, he looks a really interesting player. I've seen quite a few times um, him recently against Chelsea and a couple other youth teams, and uh, he was really, really impressive. Quite a strong built player, but also very quick with the 80 plus pace and 65 dribbling. He's going to be a really nice right wing for Premier League bronze players. The only issue is there's never loads of them, so it could be tough to do a team, but maybe German bronze teams, he could be more a viable option. I think he is definitely deserving of four star skills if you see his ability. Um, you know any you know any of his skill moves really he definitely deserves four star skills I will be shocked if he doesn't go up if he is included because uh, we do know EA do screw around with some of these Premier League bronzes they do leave them off for a while to uh, introduce them 
Next player is Alan Go, uh, a journeyman who's been around the block. Uh, 64 rated Cam. He's going to be roughly the same stats that he was last year, I do believe. I don't think he was absolutely incredible, so I don't think he's going to get a massive upgrade. Um, but what I can say is in head-to-head, -head, they've made him four-star skills and career. Uh, and I think he probably should go up. I looked in, I looked online and, you know, other guys' opinions was he should be four-star skills. So I think he probably should be from what I've seen. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if they do miss him out simply down to he is 30 years of age now. And um, I don't know if they'll be looking to change a 30-year-old's ability to four-star skills. They might miss him out. He might be one that really doesn't get the four-star skills. But I think he should from everything I've seen. Next player is probably someone who is very unknown. I don't think he was in Ultimate Team. And this is Santiago Jara Calado. Uh, he plays for Sporting Hihong. He was at the Sporting Hihong B team. Um, and then he's been recently moved up to the A team. And he's been doing a pretty decent uh, from the stats I've seen. And um, his name is mainly known as Santi Jara. And uh, everything I've actually seen, he's a, an exciting young-ish player. Um, right mid, 64 rated, I think he will be, mirroring his career stats. Uh, 73 pace, 68 dribbling. He's going to be a nice Spanish right mid bronze player. He's going to be really good. If he has the four-star skills, which I think he should, um, maybe he's not the most well-known player, but I think he should get the upgrade. He'll be a decent player to look out for. Next player is, an again, another one who's, uh, wasn't in Ultimate Team, and this is Hector Benjamin Joya Jimenez, or Benji Joya, as he is known, and uh, you would say that's quite a complicated name, why is he American, and he plays in the Mexican League, um, he basically was born in America, he plays in Mexico, I think he's got Mexican parents as well, and um, yeah, he just plays his youth team for America, while playing for Santos Laguna, I think there's a couple of Americans that have done that uh, in Mexico, and uh, he looks quite a promising player. There's a lot of hype for him in the uh, the American Youth Academies. And um, he looks a decent player from everything I've seen. He probably should go up to four-star skills. He is four-star skills in career mode. And um, I think he should get the upgrade. 63 cam, 75 pace, 66 dribbling. Okay, you might not use him for a Mexican bronze team, but you could use him in your MLS American uh, bronze teams, which are always overpowered. So this is a guy that you should really look out for. If if he does get the four-star skills, which I think he should, if he is included in the game as well.